All praise belongs to Allah. We praise Him and we seek His guidance and His forgiveness. And we seek protection of Allah from the evil of our own selves and our own bad actions. Because whenever Allah guides, no one can misguide. Whenever Allah leaves to misguide themselves, no one can guide them correctly. I bear witness and testify that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah alone, without any partners, and that Muhammad وسلم, was his servant and messenger. O mankind, fear your Lord, who created you from a single soul and created, for them its mate, and created from them many men and many women, and created them of many nations and many tribes so that they may get to know one another, and know that the best amongst you in the sight of Allah are those with the most God consciousness. O you believe, fear Allah as you ought to be feared, and die not accept in a state of full submission to Him. That he may improve your affairs, that he may forgive your sins. And whoever obeys Allah and His Messenger has surely already attained a great success. So, if the role, if the objective, if the responsibility is to speak to a group of high school students and try to help them out, whether they're being, whether they're facing bullying, it's peer pressure, right? It's an issue of confidence, an issue of identity. What does it mean to be Muslim? What does it mean to be Muslim and American? What does it mean to be living 2019? Where do I belong? How do I act? If that is the issue, if that, is the, if that is the problem, then in my best estimation, something that helped me and inspired me and will hopefully help you is hearing the stories of those who have been through it, who have been through something similar, possibly have been through it worse, and have come out successful, and have great inspiration, great motivation for us. And among these figures, or among these stories, is one of Muhammad Ali. Personal hero for me, personal motivator, and um, his, his life, and it was long, he lived, for, you know, it's a lost plan that he lived for over 70 years, and passed away just recently, and a lot of mercy on him, and his, his teachers and his parents. He, um, he did many things in his life, and, he was, and he's, his name is included on in many different lists, right? Many accomplishments, many accolades, many titles. But in short, I like to focus on a couple of things. All right, the first, his work ethic, all right? Because this doesn't apply to just being an athlete, just being a celebrity, just being a boxer. Right? Usually I speak to audiences where I'm almost certain that nobody, with some exception, no one's gonna be a professional athlete. And maybe you will, right? Maybe some of you are trying to be professional soccer players. But generally, you're not, getting, you're not involved in athletics, or you're not trying to be a professional athlete. But his work ethic is something that inspires people across <coughs> industries, regardless of their career paths, whether they're trying to be a doctor, a lawyer, or engineer, whether they're in this industry, that field, that. Anyone who's setting high goals and trying to work towards it, and has to be consistent throughout their lifetime, knows the importance of a work ethic. He used to wake up early in the morning, spend hours in the gym, hours working out, and he has beautiful coats, right, inspiring others to do so. That's number one, his work ethic. The second, his use of his platform. People have this debate of like, you know, who's the greatest, right? Who's the GOAT? Who's the, which celebrity do you like, right? What did she wear that night? At, you know, what dress did she wear? And, you know, how many points did he score? And, you know, who had the latest album and the greatest this and the greatest, right? Right, the statistics, if it's a sport, uh, how many records sold if it's a musician and that whole, right, genre of gossip and celebrities and all that stuff. The beautiful thing is that our faith doesn't tell us that being famous is, is everything. And that it's amazing to be famous and you know something you should spend your life working towards because first of all you can't please everyone second of all just because you're famous it doesn't mean Allah's happy with you everyone can love you and Allah might not be happy with you but also our faith doesn't tell us that fame is necessarily something evil it's not intrinsically evil so it's not intrinsically good or evil it's about how do you attain that fame or that popularity or that platform and I'm gonna relate to high school inshallah because it's not just about celebrity status but how do you have an influence and every one of you does have some sphere of influence there's at least a few people that listen to you or know you or sit with you or maybe it's in the cafeteria maybe it's in a classroom maybe it's online